when they serve steak to your choice now that is definitely a winner guys I put a bit too much tabasco on it but oh Ooh. you got this little guy hello hello good evening guys and welcome back hi to another episode here specifically in the country of malaysia and in the city of kuala lumpur so guys my name's yad and this is dace my wife i'm from the uk and dace is from you don't know where i'm from well you can say <laughs> i'm from latvia guys which is a tiny dot on the map in northeast europe so if you've been following our journey until today guys we've been traveling southeast asia for the last few months now and specifically we in the last i would say four weeks we've been in and around the city of Kuala Lumpur, exploring loads of places. But today, especially, it's actually a very, very special video because we're heading over to a place called Atmosphere Lounge, which is a 360 revolving restaurant in one of the most iconic places here in Kuala Lumpur. This is Malaysia, one of the most diverse countries in the south of Asia with an impressive population of 33.9 million people. A country that is split between three different ethnicity groups which include Malay, Chinese and Indian. Famous for their multicultural foods to be in a modern metropolis of a city and as they say, Malaysia is truly Asia. A little bit of information about the tower specifically the wife is going to tell you that i wanted to show you the tower guys but unfortunately we are in asia and it's raining so i don't know if you can see it but it's this wonderful tall tower with antenna here we will show you the views a bit when the rain stops but yeah it's just to give you an idea so this is quite an iconic tower because it's the first tallest tower here in southeast asia and I think it's seven tallest in the world. It's actually telecoms tower, but they use it for a lot of different activities. Like they do the annual race ups, running up the stairs. They have the skydivers jumping off it. And it's also like a Islamic observatory where they do the moon sighting. But most importantly, they've got the revolving restaurant, which is where we are taking you guys. And we will show you some amazing views. Hopefully the rain will stop and show you the amazing dining experience. <music> Our Grab Taxi is here, it's time to head downstairs and get to the restaurant. Let's go. Run. Hello. Hello. Alright guys, you would have seen that it was raining and I ran to the car because it has been absolutely pouring all evening, nearly every single day here in Malaysia. So now we are just in the taxi heading over to the KL Tower and uh, hopefully we stay dry by the time we get there. Let's go. We have finally made it. Um, the great thing is, it is uh, under a roof when we arrived. That was an absolute journey. Bearing in mind the journey was literally only five minutes away. This was a crazy experience because we thought because it's close, we're gonna have to worry about getting wet. But anyway, we're here now, we're excited, ready? Yeah, I'm just a bit upset about my wet hair because I spent like one hour straightening them. Like, yeah. okay, like... That's what happens when you're in Asia, guys, in rainy season. atmosphere 360 restaurant just here and I can hear some live music happening as we speak so very much looking forward to it. I can't bloody wait, it looks amazing. It does, just over there. Oh, somebody doing some live music. So guys, as you see, we are currently 282 meters above sea level right now. So ain't for the faint hearted up here guys, hopefully we get some nice, nice views. Super excited and hungry been saving ourselves for this dinner. Check this out. I'm loving it. This floor here is what's actually revolving around. Super interesting. It reminds me of actually a restaurant I went to last year over in uh, Kurdistan, Sleimani, my hometown. 
very very interesting it feels, kind of gives you that feeling like you're in kind of space or something like that all right guys so let me show you the buffet that they got here i will actually i was going to start with the uh, mains but i'm actually going to start the desserts because it's super busy over there they got like all these beautiful cakes we've got creme brulees this is the first buffet in the world I've ever been to that has got creme brulee for a dessert and um, we've got kind of like a wide array of salads here as well like loads of different fresh bits we've got some seafood oh my god we've got some oysters hello my friend I'll check that out we put out fresh from the sea today definitely gonna be having some oysters uh, we've got some fresh coffee what else do we have here oh wow hi how are you is this like um, you guys make sushi for us? Uh, no, this one is only sashimi. Wow, check that out guys. So they've also got fresh sashimi here. Look at that. And of course, they've even got a noodle station here with some curry meat and a pole hole. And the great thing is with uh, Malaysia, because it's so diverse, they have catered for kind of the, I'll say the West here and the Southeast Asia and Indian as well. We've got some beautiful cut lamb as well just here lovely jubbly we've even got like a chicken shawarma like in turkey check this out all right anyway guys the tables are turned literally because this thing here is spinning around it's time for me to now munch and eat right here i'm usually uh, trying to just have a little bit when it comes to buffets i don't overindulge so i've just got some um i've got some roasted lamb some sauce some potato and some fresh greens and let's try one of these um what are they called again samosa yeah vegetable roll mm. Mm, really good. Yeah, it's nice. I'm just having some vegetables to start with, a bit of cauliflower and some carrot. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of this place while the music is going off. As you can see, you've got the beautiful view of the KLCC city just out here. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan around the world to when it comes to buffets, but when they serve steak to your choice, now that is definitely a winner, guys. Like, it's super cool. Look at all this food here. We've got kind of like spring rolls over here. We've got some Indian food. We've got some like more Asian style type of satays. Just lovely. What are you getting? I'm getting a steak. A steak? Yeah. Oh, very nice. We got our guy there cooking it up. My friend, how are you? <laughs> Alright guys, so now I'm getting the oysters, fresh oysters here. Get some um, lemon on top of it. Wow. Just break it up a little bit. Alright, let's do it guys. Cheers to an oyster. <laughs> oh, that was good. Slimy. It didn't want to come out of the shell. Oh, very spicy as well. I put, I put a bit too much Tabasco on it, but oh, Ooh. that had a kick to it. One thing that's super cool about this restaurant, one minute you can be next to the buffet and then the next minute you can be next to the singer or next to a wall. We've got round three guys and now the fish is finished. So we got some steak, some medium steak as you can see. I think it's perfectly cooked. I asked for a medium, let's just give it a try. A little bit well done, but the beef tastes really nice. Honestly, one thing I have to say about this buffet is definitely value for money. Bearing in mind, it costs roughly about 50 USD per person. For the amount of food, the steaks, the seafood, the drinks, and just the overall vibe. Yes, thank you, my friend. Salt and this pepper. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Lovely. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you.
So as I was saying guys, literally, it's a super great value for money. And obviously if you did want to book this for yourself, check the description because I've got a direct link where you guys can book with a company called Head Out that are actually sponsoring this video today. But honestly, if you are in KL, you have to come and check this out because you've got beautiful views of KL, uh, to the Twin Towers just over there, and the ambience and the whole vibe, especially even if you're a couple or you're just some friends or with your family, it's perfect for any occasion like there's people here celebrating birthdays i've seen um, like almost like valentine day stuff everything's happening here look at that dessert yes guys i love a good dessert i've got tiramisu a strawberry mousse cake some red dragon fruit watermelon and melon <clears throat> you want to try some yeah. Give us your view on the chocolate cake. It's a mistake, my favourite. Mmm. It's nice. so creamy. Yum. And fatty, but it's so tasty. Can I have some? Mmm. No. How about that? <laughs> have you been a good boy? Let's try. This only means one thing, guys. I'm going to get some dessert. been ironed up the dessert since the beginning of this vlog as you saw earlier and now I have got one of my favorite desserts ever which is the tiramisu look at that let's give this a try see if it cracks oh yeah it's a creme brulee creme brulee sorry 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 creme brulee that's how excited I am to eat this ready mm. I would say it's a bit more like caramel like a caramel dessert you see Maybe it's a caramel creme brulee. Yeah, I think this is a caramel creme brulee, but look at that. Very, very nice and tasty. Mm. This is good. And let's try some of the um, tiramisu cake as well. Let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. That's really good. I must say, guys, um, they have definitely saved the best till last because dessert has been my favorite so far. Again, super value for money. Absolutely love every dish. That's how you stay. Do you think of the food and everything? I really, really enjoyed it. My favorite thing was the uh, Malaysian Elton John there uh, singing live for us. And honestly, guys, this whole revolving experience is amazing. You get to see the whole city from Petronas Towers to the rest of the city. I feel a bit dizzy, but it's all part of the experience. And the food is a fantastic value for money. You have absolutely everything, and it's just really, really nice evening. So if you're in KL, go and book those tickets and come and enjoy. And a big thank you to our performers there making some beautiful music for us. We have now come outside the KL Tower and look at that bad boy. We sat just up there. So guys, when you come outside, there's this like huge garden area where you can literally just come for a little walk when it's not raining and the rain has stopped. We got this little guy. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. The scale of this thing is literally massive. When we get back to the apartment, hopefully the sky will have cleared up. I'll show you our view from the house. And honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. When you're close by, it's actually much bigger than it is from far away. The top of the KL Tower is actually 421 meters above sea level. And just behind it, not sure if you guys can see, but you see the, those two towers over there? That's the Petronas Towers. So you've got like a perfect view once you're in this actual garden area itself. So nice and well, as we speak, we have some fireworks going off. Literally every night since I've been in KL, there is fireworks going off. I don't know what it is, but it seems like there's always a celebration in this uh, in the city. And guys, as you can see, I am now back in the apartment and oh my God, guys, that was supposed to be a two minute journey from the KL Tower back to the apartment, but it took us 20 minutes to walk because 
it's basically a festival period right now in KL. There's so many celebrations going on. Chinese New Year has finished and this weekend has been another festive um, weekend with an Indian celebration. So it's just non-stop here in Kuala Lumpur of all the different festivities that is constantly going on. So when you try to order a Grab, which is the Uber here in Kuala Lumpur, essentially we was waiting for about 20 minutes before anybody even accepted. And then when they finally did accept, they said it's gonna take another 20 minutes just to arrive. So in the end, we thought, you know what, let's just walk because the rain stopped so we thought may as well burn off some of those calories that we put on over in the restaurant but as you can see guys from the apartment as i promised earlier in the vlog that we will show you what it actually looks like from our apartment and there it is it's absolutely gleaming looks really beautiful and this weekend a lot of people were base jumping off there and maybe i'll put a clip over on here just so i can show you guys what they actually looked like earlier but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video today and want to actually book that experience for yourself, I definitely recommend booking it if you're here with family and friends because it's just a great uh, way to either end your day or end your week and kind of get a good view when you get to the top. Overall, if you guys also want to book, you can book directly with Head Out and all the details are in the description box below and there's a link where you can just go directly and book it for yourselves. And anyway guys, I think that's where I'll end the video. If you've got any questions or need anything uh, that I haven't covered in this video, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and we will see you on the next adventure here in Kuala Lumpur. Good night and peace out.